please welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we're going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew wrap tie top okay so this form of top is a wrap and then you are going to tie it at the front block and this is one piece of one style you can rock especially during summer like this okay so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this top we have our shoulder measurement bust measurement waist and our top length don't forget to join us on facebook TG Designs and also on Instagram TG Designs and also visit our website. You guys, we have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. So now we have our shoulder measurements, which is 14. 14 divided by 2, we have 7. Our bust is 38. 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 our waist is 28 28 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9 inches our top length is 18 plus 2 inches we are going to have 20 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this top. So this top, you can achieve this top either through pattern drafting or either through freehand method. Freehand method simply means when you cut directly on your fabric, you can also achieve this style through that method. So it just depends on which you, the one you prefer and the one you prefer, right? So, but for this tutorial, I'm going to make him mine making use of the pattern drafting method so i'm going to first draft it first on the pattern paper and then we'll transfer it to the fabric so if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop it in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on feel free to also drop it in the comment section and i'll be so glad to put up such video so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up. So now, let's move to the... So guys, the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our back block, okay? So we'll go ahead now and mark our back block first. Our shoulder to arm o 9 inches. Show that to bust nine and a half. Show that to under bust 14. And our top length is 20 inches. So I'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. The next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our dart measurement. So my dart measurement is four inches. Go ahead and mark our dart measurement, which is four inches. Which is four inches. So we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. This is what we have on our waistline now. We'll mark half inch on both sides. We have half inch on both sides and then we'll connect it together. So after connecting it, you discover that for the back block, we don't have our zip allowance. Now, the reason why we didn't mark any inches for our zip allowance is because what we want to achieve is a wrap tight top. So it simply means that we are going to be tying it at the front, hence, we don't need zip at the back, okay? So we don't need any zip at the back because the front is going to be opened. So this is what we basically have now. This is our dart measurement. So we'll go ahead now and mark our basic measurement. Our shoulder measurement is 7 inches. Our bust measurement is 11.5. And then our waist measurement is 9 inches. So we'll go ahead now and connect our bust to our waist. We 
this is what we have and then we'll connect our bust line to our shoulder measurement to give us our arm pull. So this is what we have. Now the next thing we are going to do now is we'll go ahead now and mark one inch for our shoulder slope and then we'll mark our neckline. So my neckline I'm going to make is of three inches. For the deepness of the back block, your back block shouldn't be too deep, okay? Because your front block is basically open. So make use of either one inch or one and a half for your back block. And so this is what we have. I've marked that. I've gone ahead to connect it. So I'll also connect this to my shoulder slope. I've connected this to my shoulder slope and this is what our back block basically looks like you can see it's very easy so the next thing i'll do now is to go ahead and cut this out and show you guys what it looks like so after cutting it out this is what we have for the back block so we'll go ahead now and set this aside now the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out our front block so go ahead now and mark four to five inches first so you can use either four inches five inches six inches it depends but it's very between four to five inches so i'll go ahead now and mark five inches mark five inches mark five inches so go ahead now and connect the lines together. So after connecting the lines, this is what we have. So this is what we have. Now, because what we want to achieve is a wrap tight top. So for the length of the wrap is actually depends on how long you want it to be so but you are going to understand that when we are transferring it to the fabric so this is what you have to do now take your back block and then place it on your front block so that we don't need to start remarking what we have so once i place it this way i will go ahead now and trace this out this is where we have the neckline so after tracing it out, this is basically what we are going to have. So this is where we have the neckline, right? Now, extend this, your neckline, up to your top length, right? But it actually depends on where you want this to get up to and how deep you want your neckline to be. So when you want to connect your neckline to your top length, you should also consider how deep you want the neckline to be. So, what we'll do now is we'll just go ahead and place our pattern master this way. Place your pattern master this way. And then you go ahead and extend it to. Let's connect this. So, once you slant it, you can see what we have. So this is basically what we have. So the next thing we are going to do now is we'll go ahead and cut this slant line, cut your neckline, your armhole, and your body. So after cutting it out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we have for the front block. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and transfer it to your fabric. But when you are transferring this to your fabric, um, make sure you add like an extension to this lower part. Okay, make sure you add an extension to this lower part so that you can have enough piece you can tie. Okay, so the more piece you add to this lower side determines how long the fabric will be and how you know you can just tie it to give it different shapes. So let me go ahead now and transfer this on the fabric and show you guys how to achieve that.
Guys, I'll be making use of this African print. Let me show you guys what it looks like. And you can see how beautiful it is. And African prints are available at our store. So we have this both in wholesale and retail prices. So if you are interested in getting African fabrics, I'm going to put down the details in the description box below. So you go ahead now and fold your fabric into two. After folding my fabric into two, I'm going to go ahead and place my back block this way. I'll go ahead and place my back block this way and then I'll cut this out. So for your back block, when you're placing your back block on your fabric, make sure you have a single fold. Make sure you have a single fold because you want to have like one complete piece for your back block. I hope you guys understand that. So I will go ahead now and place my pattern paper this way and then cut it out and show you guys what it looks like. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we have. You can see that for the back block, we have one single piece. Unlike normally when you are cutting your top, whereby you have two pieces. For the next thing we are going to do now is we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two. And then we'll place our front block on it this way and we'll cut this out. So after cutting this out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what you are going to have for the front block. So you are going to have two pieces this way. And if you feel like your stripes is not long enough, right, feel free to add an extra piece to this point and then you can make it longer. It just depends on how long you want it to be. So basically, you will just tie this this way. Basically, you just style this this way. You can tie it in form of a knot shape. Like I said, if you feel like you don't have enough um, stripes to tie, you know we just added five inches. We just added about five inches. So if you feel like you don't have enough, you can just attach it to make it longer. So you just tie it any way you want it to be, and you can see. At least you can have a view of what the whole dress is going to look like once we are done. So this is basically what we have for the front block. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to do now now for the sewing part of this dress is actually very easy. All you have to do now is go ahead and aim your neckline all the way down. Aim your neckline, the two neckline for your front block. And also for your back block, you will also aim the neckline for your back block. So, after aiming both necklines together, you go ahead and place your back block this way. So, you place your back block this way, making sure that both shoulders meet, okay? So, you place your back block this way, go ahead and stitch your shoulders together so after stitching that i'll show you guys what it looks like and what next we have to do so guys after joining the shoulders together this is what we have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and join the sides together like I've done and you also aim the lower part. So if you feel like what you have is not enough, you can go ahead and add to it. So this is what the front block looks like and for the back block, this is what we have. So you can also go ahead and fix in your sleeve, any kind of sleeve, balloon sleeve, your regular sleeve. Go ahead and fix in your sleeve and if you want yours to be sleeveless then this is what you have. So I'll go ahead now and put this on the mannequin and show you guys what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. So let me put this on the mannequin now and show you guys what we have. So guys, you can see what it looks like. You can see we've gone ahead to tie it. So all you have to do now is to fix in your sleeve, any kind of sleeve, and you can also decide to rock it this way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.